good morning class 12 children welcome back today again we are here through online classes in our last online class uh, we couldn't continue going to your each holiday today we are again continuing uh, with the play the tempest written by william shakespeare if you remember um, in our last online class in English 2, uh, we had started with the last act in the play The Tempest. That was Act 5, Scene 1. Uh, one fourth of the beginning of the act we had already seen. Uh, today we are going to continue the same and uh, we will try as far as possible to cover much of this part so that. Uh, uh, we'll get over with the tempest as early as possible and then we'll see the two other books we have and uh, whatever remaining chapters are there we'll try to uh, continue the same uh, with uh, the question answers and the notes that will be provided to you hope uh, you all are viewing the online classes what we had uh, done in our previous uh, uh, classes because uh, what I see is many of you do not view these days and uh, uh, this is a very sad news what uh, you are up to because uh, whatever taught uh, lessons are here uh, through online classes uh, most probably we are not going to repeat the same in the class when the school gets reopened because you know um, it is already uh, June now and uh, when the school gets reopen uh, we may be having uh, limited uh, time to cover the rest of the chapters we will be remained uh, in the three books that is why whatever lessons taught through online classes uh, they will not be repeated when we are back to class uh, back to class in the school so please uh, go through uh, the videos that are uh, provided to you and uh, uh, write all the notes write all the question answers being given to you otherwise uh, it is your loss so let us now come back to our lesson and see act 5 scene 1 and uh, though uh, days have gone by so let us uh, have the uh, recap of what we had discussed in the opening of act 5 scene 1 uh, so in act 5 scene 1 we saw the scene is taking place in front of Prospero's cell and uh, we saw here Prospero in his magical dress and is addressing to his uh, favorite spirit Ariel. Uh, he tells uh, his uh, favorite spirit Ariel, uh, now my dear Ariel, uh, now I think my plans are uh, uh, reached to the zenith, has reached to the pinnacle. That means uh, now a little is left uh, to get uh, his magic uh, completed. So, and he is also very much affirmed that his magic uh, never fails, right? And the spirits have obeyed him and uh, time has also been very upright and is going on the uh, right way, right? And then he questioned uh, his uh, dentary Ariel, what is the time of the day? Ariel reports, he is saying that it is 6 o'clock in the evening. And my lord, uh, you said by 6 o'clock our work would uh, come to an end because uh, Ariel, Ariel is also... Uh, long awaited to have his freedom as soon as uh, the works of Prospero gets over Ariel will also earn his freedom so that he would uh, live a free life because it is also his spirit as we know right and Prospero here says that yes my dear uh, Ariel I did say so when I uh, brought the tempest in the sea for the first time and then he says uh, tell me uh, my dear uh, uh, spirit my dear uh, Ariel so what about the king uh, and his followers how are they getting on he asks then he reports saying that my lord uh, my master uh, they are all um, held as prisoners and all of them are uh, held in the uh, line of trees in the groove and uh, he told that uh, these uh, trees are so hard uh, wood trees that uh, they are uh, um, used in making a prosperous cell against any bad weather right and uh, they are in such a condition that they cannot move unless here Prospero frees them uh, with his magical power. The king, uh, his brother Sebastian and uh, 
uh, Antonio all are uh, completely distracted they are mad like right and uh, um, the very holy lord Manjalo uh, is with the tears and his tears are rolling down from his uh, cheeks like uh, the melting of his snows uh, and uh, uh, drops of pokey water from the uh, eaves of reeds as he reports and uh, here Ariel says master your magic is so powerful uh, that if you uh, were present and uh, seen their condition uh, you would have uh, felt very much sympathized here uh, Ariel says to his master Prospero. Prospero says is that what you feel my dear uh, spirit he asks then Ariel tells uh, he would uh, uh, have felt the same had he been a human because we know that Ariel is a spirit is not a human and uh, Prospero here uh, uh, feels that if the spirit uh, has this feeling, uh, why not a human? And then, okay, here he says, uh, Ariel, you are made of air, you are made of fire, and you still have such a touchy feeling on seeing the condition, on seeing the miserable condition of uh, the king and his team, right? He tells. And then he says, um, Prospero says, by this time, uh, he is uh, uh, of a kind, uh, kinder, uh, you can say, feelings rather than being very much aggressive in his okay, feelings and says the most important uh, lines of the play, The Tempest, uh, that is, uh, the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance, which I uh, told you uh, in my previous online class to underline uh, these two lines because uh, these two lines um, are the most important lines of the play, The Tempest. And in fact, it is the theme of the play, right? That's why, okay, here Prospero says, the error action is in virtue than in vengeance. That means the virtue of forgiveness is nobler than the spirit of revenge, right? So here lies uh, the theme of the play that uh, uh, you should have a forgiving, uh, forgiving heart rather than uh, uh, going to take uh, revenge, harming somebody, killing someone, right the best way to take revenge is to show your kindness right be gentle to treat your uh, enemies that is what here uh, the lines meant right and uh, now uh, here prosper says now they are repenting the king and his team they are repenting of uh, what they have done in the past right now Ariel says uh, then he tells uh, Ariel Ariel now you go and release them free them from the uh, uh, mad like a state of their uh, mind right and uh, here uh, uh, he says um, Prospero says to Ariel that he is now going to bring an end to his magical career he is now going to uh, release the knowledge of magic from him right that's enough and so uh, he tells okay Ariel to go and bring uh, King Alonso and their uh, and the team of King Alonso to normality right Ariel goes taking the order from his master so Ariel takes leave then Prospero draws a big circle uh, with the help of his magical wand and then speaks to all the spirits from whom he had taken help so far in uh, his project so Prospero after having drawn a big circle with his magical wand he then okay speaks to all the spirits so first he remained thankful to all the elves who are tiny tiny creatures uh, who live in the brooks or in the uh, lakes or in the trees right and uh, these uh, uh, spirits are such that uh, that uh, they have obeyed prosperous com command at any point of time whenever prospero needed okay, these spirits to come and help him they all got together right for this reason here prospero remained very much thankful to right and uh, at the same time uh, he also announced uh, um, to all the audience that he is going to absorb his magical knowledge that means he is going to give up he is going to surrender his magical knowledge now he doesn't require it anymore because he feels here that now uh, he is coming to the end of his project right and in the background uh, he wanted to have uh, music being played right listen and as we know that Shakespeare has given very important importance to uh, music uh, to whatever place he has written um, here too you see uh, he is going to now end of his magical uh, knowledge that's why he is wanting to uh, 
uh, do it um, in a ceremonious uh, way, uh, like uh, um, the assistance of music being played at the background, right? And he uh, tells what is he going to do with his uh, magical wand and magical uh, books. The magical wand is going to uh, bury it uh, inside the earth where nobody can again pull it out and uh, he is wanting to um, throw the magical books deep inside the uh, sea water or ocean water where even Plymouth cannot reach. That is what he told us, right? And then we hear the solemn music at the background being played, right? Now what happens? From here we have to continue. Hope you understood. Uh, uh, the recap of what we, ha we had uh, done in our last online class. Now here we come back to the lines and see further part of Act 5, Scene 1. Now see, there is solemn music at the background. Uh, here enters Ariel before uh, uh, Prospero. Now Ariel goes and has come back again. Right? Now behind him uh, stood King Alonso with a frantic gesture. That means King Alonso is very surprised. Right? To see what not he had not expected to see. Attended by Gonzalo, he is followed by Gonzalo, right, the uh, favorite of uh, Prospero. Sebastian and Antonio, in like manner, Sebastian and Antonio are also very much uh, surprised and uh, they are followed by Adrian and Francesco, who are the younger lords in the team. They all enter the circle which Prospero had made and they all enter inside the circle which uh, was made by Prospero by his, uh, with his uh, magical wand. And there stand charmed, and uh, these all creatures who stood inside the uh, circle, big circle, uh, they all are magically affected, right? Which Prospero observing speaks, and uh, Prospero seeing them now speaks to them. Now, what did he say? See, a solemn air that means it's a very serious song. The music is played at the background, and Prospero says it's a very serious music, it's a very serious song, and the best comforter to an unsettled fancy. And uh, a serious song uh, is the best comforter to a disturbed mind. So when the mind is disturbed and if you listen to uh, a music being played at the background, your mind becomes, um, you can say, um, soft, gentle, right? It brings a, a great relief. The song brings, uh, the music brings a great relief to a disturbed mind. It is a great comforter to a disturbed mind, right? That's what here Prospero says. Cure thy brains and it is a cure to your brains. When your brain is disturbed, listen to the music, right? That's what is told here. So Prospero says, it's a solemn air. That means it's a solemn music. It's a solemn song, right? It's a serious song, which is the best comforter to a disturbed mind, which is a cure to your brains. And then says, now useless. Boil within thy skull. And now at this time, it is useless because your mind is completely disturbed. Your mind is boiled here because you are not knowing what is happening to you, right? Since three hours of, of the shipwreck, right? You have been lurching here, lurching there in this island, right? Uh, seeing all those uh, um, uh, unexpected sights that you have come across. So your mind is already, your brain is already boiled with so many things now, right? So right now, you must be listening to this music. Then says, there is stand, for you are still stopped. So there you are standing inside this magical circle. For you are spell stop. That means you are incapable of moving yourself because you are under the effect of prosperous magic. You are incapable of moving yourself. Right? And then Prosperous looks at Gonzalo and then he speaks, Holy Gonzalo, you pious Gonzalo, honorable man. You among these is an honorable man. My eyes, even sociable to the show of thine, so my eyes is sociable like yours. Right? How see? To the show of thine, that means to see tears in your eyes. So I am seeing tears in your eyes. Here uh, Prospero looks into the eyes of Gonzalo and finds that, that they are wet with tears. Right? Fall fellow drops and even mine the same, Prospero says. So to see you into tears, I am also... Uh, uh, crying myself to look at you, he says. The charm dissolves a face. The magic dissolves quickly. A face means quickly. The magic is now uh, fading away from me quickly. It's dissolving. Right? And as the morning stills upon the night and the morning stills or morning follows the night. Right? Melting the darkness. 
and it melts the darkness when the morning comes sunrise comes right the darkness is slowly faded away right likewise my magic is also fading from me right so their rising senses begin to chase the ignorant fumes that mantle their clearer regions and then says so their rising senses being to chase the ignorant fumes ignorant fumes are the unknown feathers that mental that mental means that obscure their clearer regions their rational sense and when the uh, darkness appear right we see all dark likewise here uh, being to chase the ignorant fume unknown okay feathers that obscure their clearer regions their clearer the rational sense so you are not knowing what is happening to you because you are still under the effect of magic right oh good gunjalu and then he remains very much thankful to gunjalu because prospero knows as we all know that it is gunjalu who has helped him helped prospero when prospero and his daughter miranda the infant by then uh, were uh, chased out of the um, um, city milan right so oh good gunjalu he said my true preserver you are the one who has preserved my life and a loyal sir to him thou follows and you are a very very loyal person because you are following your king the king king alonso right i'll pay the graces i'll pay your services whatever you have done to me i'll repay it to you right home both in word and deed right and then i'll in pay repay your services in word showing my deep respect to you and even right with the action that i am going to do right so here prosper remains very much thankful to gonzalo for uh, his help that he had rendered to him when on uh, time of need now see Ma most cruelly this thou alonso and then he looks at king alonso and says right king alonso right most cruelly you are very much cruel and most cruelly what you have done this thou treated me you have treated me very cruelly you have treated me and my daughter and my daughter miranda right this now so prospero here uh, um, termed king alonso uh, his guilt his fault in his past life right and then said most cruelly you have uh, treated me and my daughter thy brother was a father in the act and your brother brother sebastian also joined in your action right further in the act that means was a helper in your action what you did your brother helped you in uh, uh, chasing me out from my country milan right thou art pinched for it now so you are punished pinch means punished you are punished for what you have done in the past now you are getting the punishment of what you have done right sebastian he says flesh and blood and then he looks at his own brother antonio who is flesh and blood related to him he is his own brother from the same parents right you antonio flesh and blood you brother of mine you are my own brother right that entertain ambition but you are so influenced by your ambition you are highly influenced by your ambition expel remorse in nature you expel all pity remorse here means pity sympathy you have uh, taken out all sympathy from your heart and nature right whom with uh, sebastian right so from your heart you have taken out your um, your pity and your uh, nature from your heart and together with sebastian what you have done see whose inward pinches therefore are most strong and who are to be punished strongly than the others would get right here prospero says announced would here have killed your king right and it is you and uh, uh, with the sebastian uh, you both okay tried to kill king alonso and you remember that was in act 2 um, scene 1 where we saw the first um, you know what you call um uh, the murder uh, uh, conspiracy hatched by uh, antonio and sebastian right and they almost had killed king alonso and gonzalo but uh, the dropping of ariel foiled their plan that we already saw in act 2 scene 1 so here prospero recalls that moment of what antonio and sebastian had uh, uh, been up to they were almost about uh, uh, killing king alonso and gonzalo so i do forgive thee yet i am here to forgive you here prospero says looking at his brother antonio and sebastian right those you were in the greatest fault and uh, you are to be punished so strongly for what you have done right uh, yet i am here to forgive you both right unnatural though thou art though it is unnatural in my sense to forgive you both because you don't deserve to be forgiven right their understanding begins to swell so your understanding 
is beginning to grow now right and the approaching tide will shortly fill the reasonable shore right and the approaching tide is shortly going to uh, fill the reasonable mind right that now lies whole and muddy that uh, you both are lying in whole and muddy right not one of them that yet looks on me so not even one of you right looking at me or would know me you are trying to know me right so here prospero realizes that the group of king alonso has not been able to recognize him right when he talked to them right and even uh, recounted their past doing in their lives right and even hinted into and sebastian uh, what they had uh, um, uh, further planned uh, in the king's life and gonzalo's life right and uh, he found here that uh, these creatures have not been able to recognize prospero right so he says you are looking at me but i know that you do not um, recognize me and so he turns to his favorite spirit ariel and then says ariel fetch me the hat and wrap it in myself so go inside my cell my cave and bring fetch means bring bring me the hat my hat and my rapier rapier is a knife long knife is a sword like straight knife so bring me those two because these two are the positions of the european kings of those days right wearing the hat and then carrying a rapier rapier is a sword like knife a long knife right so bring me those two things from inside my cave he ordered ariel to bring it exist ariel and returns immediately so ariel goes and within no time he returns bringing those two things as ordered by his master prospero i will disguise me and then he says let me undress myself because you know uh, prospero was wearing the magical dress because he was uh, um, magically um, um, using uh, the uh, team of king alonso to bring uh, inside this big circle which he had drawn and now he thinks that uh, uh, he needed to um, uh expose himself uh, what he is actually so he then um dis uh, uh, discases himself that means he okay this uh, he uh, undresses himself to change his uh, clothings and myself present as i was some time milan and let me uh, let me uh, uh, present myself that i am the duke of milan who exactly is who actually is right quickly spirit thou salt or long be free and he tells okay spirit is a favorite spirit ariel right quickly help me to uh, undress my magical robe the long loose outer garment that a magician wears right help me to undress it and then uh, you uh, help me in putting this um, objects of uh, the duke right like the hat and the rapier right quickly spirit thou salt or long be free so before you soon be free or means soon uh, i mean okay before right so before before you soon be free help me to uh, change my uh, look he tells ariel to uh, speed up himself because sooner here the prospero has completed his project right uh, ariel is going to get his freedom so if he helps him in doing the works as early as possible right um, here uh, prospero would also uh, here ariel would also Uh, get his freedom right so ariel sings and helps to attire him and ariel is very happy because he is also knowing that he is uh, he is uh, not very far uh, from achieving his freedom now right so ariel sings the song himself and helps to attire him and helps to uh, put on the other clothes of uh, uh, prospero right which gives a look of um, duke prospero So Ariel now sings what he sings, and this uh, song is uh, about Ariel, uh, and uh, we'll know uh, what uh, exactly uh, Ariel is, where he lives, what he eats, and what he does. Now see, Ariel says, "Where the bee sucks, there suck I." So where the bee sucks, the bees uh, suck the sweet, juicy content of the flowers, which you call nectar, right? And Ariel says, "That is what I drink to stay alive, right? I drink." i suck the juice of the flower i suck the nectar of the flower right that gives me life to live on he said in a cowslip bell i lie and in a bell shaped flower i sleep i take rest right this is the bed this is my house the bell shaped flower is my house where i lie myself couching 
right? That I couch when owls do cry. So that I rest. Couch means rest. I leave. Where I lie, there I lie. Right? In a bell shaped flower, I lie when owls do cry. That means when the owls hoot at night. Because owls are the night birds. Right? They hoot at night. So when the owls would be hooting, I'll be lying um, uh, in the bell shaped flower. Right? Uh, um, having my peaceful sleep. Right? On the bat's back, I do fly. After summer, merrily. Right? And on the bat's back, I sit on the bat's back and then fly speedily. After summer merrily, that means searching for summer happily, right? So wherever there is a summer, I fly, right? Seated myself on the bat's back. This is the way how I transport myself from here to there, right? So this is much about Ariel, uh, which is told in this song, right? So under the merrily, merrily shall I live now. So happily, happily shall I live now. So I will be living my life happily. When? When I'll get my freedom, right? Listen, under the blossom that hangs on the bough, so under here is beneath or below the blossom, the flower blooming that hangs on the bough, that grows on the branch of the trees, right? So this is about Ariel, right? How is he going to live his life after he gets his freedom, right? He is going to live under the blossom, under the flower that hangs, that hangs on the uh, on the tree branches. I'll be living my life merrily, happily. That is what here Ariel says. So look at the way how Ariel exp expresses his uh, happiness of being uh, freed uh, of his life. So everybody wants to uh, live a life of freedom, a life of liberty. So here the spirit Ariel is also long awaited to achieve his freedom. Right? Now it is not much uh, more uh, time needed for Ariel to achieve his freedom. He also senses that. That is why he is uh, seen expressing his happiness through song. Right? And then Prosperous says, Why? That is my dainty Ariel. So he says, Well, that is my favorite Ariel, my sweet Ariel. Prosperous also likes uh, the song sung by Ariel. Right? I shall miss thee, but yet thou shall have freedom. So I shall miss you and your companionship. Right? Here, uh, Prospero uh, feels. Um, uh, very much compassionate on uh, uh, Ariel being given his freedom. So he says, I shall miss thee. So I, I will miss you very much. But yet thou shalt have freedom. I will miss you and your companionship. Yet I will give you your freedom. Because I have already promised you that I will uh, free you. After you have uh, um, helped me in completing my project. Right? And then he arranges his attire. Arranging his attire. What does he say? What does he say? So, so, so. Then he says, go. Right. To the king's ship. Now, Prosperous senses there are still some more uh, last works are needed uh, uh, for Ariel to be assigned. So he says, now you go to the king's ship. You remember the king's ship where it is? Now, invisible as thou. Invisible as you are. Right. There shall thou find the mariners asleep under the hatches. And there you will find the mariners. Right. In the king's ship, there were mariners. You know. Right. So you will see the mariners. Mariners are the sailors in the ship, right, asleep under the hatches, so they are looking okay, asleep in the ship's uh, hold, right, so go and see them, the master and the bosun being awake, the master, the ship master, the ship captain and the bosun, who is in charge of the ship, right, being awake, enforce them to this place, so when they are awakened from their sleepiness, because uh, there are two reasons of their sleepiness, we have already discussed long time ago in the play, right, they slept because of uh, being tired in uh, manually working the uh, working in the sea and uh, the the magic being applied to them right so now the master and bosun are going to get awakened so after they get awakened right bring them here to this place prosperous says them uh, Ariel to go and bring them right and presently i pretty and soon he says presently means soon right do this work at the at the fastest possible right i pretty i request it I request you, Ariel, please go uh, see uh, the king's ship. There the mariners are sleeping under the uh, hatches, right? When they are awakened, bring them here. You will also find the ship captain and the bosun. Uh, when they get awakened, bring them here too. And do it as early as possible. He tells, right? Ariel says, I drink the air before me. That means I'll fly swiftly. I'll fly at the swiftest speed. 
and return or or your pulse beat twice and I'll return before your heart beat twice so that must speedily here Ariel promises to do his work because I already told sooner the work is completed the earlier he will get his freedom right so Ariel says I'll fly swiftly and uh, before your heart beat twice right I'll uh, before your heart beats twice I'll be here I'll be back here and he goes Right, being in Israel. Gonzalo then says, All torment, trouble, wonder, and amazement inhabits here. Now, Gonzalo shows his uh, um, surprise. Right, he says, What this island right, is inhabited by torments, all torches. Right, there are troubles, there are wonderments, and there are amazing things. Gonzalo says, Because every inch of their walk, they have found this and that, they have noticed this and that. Right, so Gonzalo. Here uh, remarks saying that this island is inhabited by all tortures, all troubles, all wonderments and amazements. Right? Some heavenly power guide us out of this fearful country. So some heavenly powers, that means, oh God, send us some angel who would uh, uh, take us out from this dreadful country, fearful country. Country is this island. Right? So please take us out from this uh, country. Right? Here, okay, Gonzalo says. So Gonzalo still has not believed uh, Seeing Prospero is real Prospero. Right. Then Prospero says, Behold, Sir King. And then after the Prospero has dressed himself in his ducely attire, right, the attire of a duke, like a duke of Milan, he then says, Behold, Sir King. So he tells King Alonso, King Alonso, look at me. Behold means see me, look at me. Right. The wrong duke of Milan, Prospero. So I am the same wrong duke of Milan. My name is Prospero. Here Prospero introduces himself, right, and says, O King, Sir King, look at me, right, I am the wrong Duke of Milan, right, my name is Prospero, he said, for more assurance, that means in order to convince you more, in order to make you understand more, right, that a living prince does now speak to thee, there is a living prince who will tell you more about this, right, your living prince is Prince Ferdinand, right, so here Prospero is wanting to give more proof, who exactly he is. So first of all, he changed him to uh, change himself into a dukely uh, attire, and then he told that his name is Prospero, and then he says that to convince you more, there is a live prince, right? Will speak to you more about this. He said, "I embrace thy body, so let me hug your body, right?" Prospero then embraces King Alonso. He hugs him, right? Alonso embraces Alonso. And to thee and thy company, I bid a hearty welcome. And then he says, and to you and your company, company are all the um, friends of uh, King Alonso, like Gonzalo, Sebastian, Antonio, Adrian, Francisco. Let me welcome all of them here, he said. Let me give you a cordial welcome, hearty welcome in this island of mine. Right. Now King Alonso reacts after he being embraced by Prospero. Now Duke Prospero, right? Wherever thou beest, he or no. So he says, I don't know whether you are he or no. He means Prospero. I don't know whether you are Prospero, real Prospero or not. Right. Or some charm or some enchanted trifle to abuse me. Or you may be, right, enchanted trifle. That means, or it may be a magic trick, right, to abuse me, to deceive me, to cheat me. So far uh, we are being cheated. We are being, uh, we are being deceived. Right. So I don't know exactly who you are. As late, okay, I have been, I don't know. So he says, so recently we have been uh, uh, suffering the same, right? So I don't know, right, whether you are really he or not, right? Or some magical trick being played to trick us, right? Thy pulse beats us of flesh and blood. But when he was embraced, when he was hugged by uh, Prospero, here Alonso, King Alonso could feel the heartbeat of Prospero, right? Now, in case of spirit, there is no heartbeat. Right? That's not. But uh, in a real life, in a real human, there is a heartbeat. Right? So which here, King Alonso felt after he being embraced by uh, King um, by Prospero. Right? So thy pulse, your pulse, your heartbeat, as of flesh and blood, is real, I feel. And since I saw thee, and after seeing you, here, uh, uh, King Alonso said, the affliction of my mind amends, with which I fear a madness in me. I have been experiencing some new kind of improvement in me. Here, here King Alonso says, not only do I feel that you are the real 
prospero right after i felt your heartbeat right after seeing you i am also feeling some kind of improving experience in myself right that's what king on also said okay that means uh, after seeing prospero and feeling his heartbeat he is uh, now uh, uh, comforted he is now um, uh, you can say relaxed so he told this to prospero this must crave and if this be at all a most strange story and he says this must call for right uh, in need that if that is true if in need this is true that you are uh, uh, real prospero and do entreat the pardon me my wrongs and i do request and it means request i do you request to forgive all my wrongdoings if you are real prospero here uh, uh, king alonso said if you are real prospero indeed you are right please do forgive my wrongs please do forgive my guilts the past mistakes that i have done so we, we see here king alonso has completely submitted himself he has surrendered right and he was completely uh, here uh, uh, you can say changed right he is repented right and got changed right and has submitted himself to uh, prosper and ask for his forgiveness right but how should prosper be living and be and be here but a surprise question was asked but how is prospero right is he still alive and is living here in this unknown island here prospero uh, here king also asked right then prospero says to gonzalo uh, he looked at gonzalo and said first noble friend so first of all my dear noble friend my dear humble friend he says to gonzalo let me embrace thy age let me show respect to your age because uh, gonzalo is an old man and in, in fact he is the oldest among them right now right so he gives a due respect to his uh, uh, seniority and then okay prospero says to gonzalo first of all my lord right my dear friend let me embrace thy age let me embrace you so my deep respect to you whose honor cannot be measured or confined whose honor is immeasurable and limitless your honor is such that it cannot be measured at all right it cannot be uh, it cannot be uh, limited at all right so there is uh, infinite uh, you can say um, honor in you which i can give to you right here prosper is it and embraces gunjalo and then he hugs gunjalo gunjalo says whether this be or be not i'll not say so gunjalo says i'll not say means i cannot say i cannot say whether this is real or not right gunjalo also equally uh, is uh, uh, unbelievable to know that this is real uh, um, prospero to whom he is talking to right and then prospero says you do yet test some substances of the island that means you are still okay under the effect of illusions of this island the substances means illusions deceptions of this island like what you saw in this island so far uh, and did not believe or not right same thing you are uh, you are facing on seeing me right and that is all because you are still under the illusions of this island right that will not let you believe things certain that is why you are not able to believe certain things even seeing uh, me the real uh, duke of milan prospero right welcome my friends all so he then welcomed every one of them though they are his enemies but yet prospero is forgiven right and he welcomes cordially in his island aside to sebastian and antonio and then he talks privately aside means privately to sebastian and antonio right what did he say but you my brace of lords that means my pair of lords brace means pair my pair of lords he speaks to them where i so minded if i had minded you both i here could pluck his highness's crown upon you so i would arouse the anger in king alonso's mind right so if i had minded you both then i would have aroused whom whose anger i would have aroused king alonso's anger on you both and justify you traitors and can prove that you both are disloyal you both are traitors because you both tried to uh, kill um king alonso right hatching the conspiracy right so if here prospero wants he can do it he can show it to king alonso and prove that these two are traitors right but at this time i will tell no tales but at this time at this juncture i'll tell no stories about this your prospero uh, wants to keep his mouth shut but he warned uh, sebastian and antonio of their uh, of their past deeds uh, sebastian says speak uh, speaking privately to him 
the devil speaks in him, right? And then okay, Sebastian speaks privately to um, Antonio, saying what? The devil speaks in him. That means it is the devil that is speaking in him. It is not real human. It is not real Prospero. The devil is speaking in him, right? Sebastian yet did not believe uh, on seeing Prospero, the real Prospero. Prospero then says, no, for you, most wicked sir. And then Prospero says, no, he speaks to Antonio, right? For you, who is Antonio, you are the most wicked one. Whom to call brother would even infect my mouth. Whom to call brother would even pollute my mouth. You are so uh, polluted, you are so contaminated that uh, um, pronounce your name would even infect me. Here Prospero says, look at the, uh, uh, look at the, you can say, uh, anger Prospero has on his own brother, Antonio. Right? Yes or no? So even if he pulls his name, calls his name, his mouth would get polluted. Right? He says, I do forgive thy rankest fault, but even though your uh, faults are rankest, rankest means uh, the worst, the worst of all the worst. Right? But yet I am here to forgive you. Here Prospero says to Antonio. All of them, and not only you, I am here ready to forgive all of you, he said, and I require my dictum of thee. And what I want, what I request, I request to give me my dictum. I request to give me my mila back to me, he says. Which perforce I know thou must restore, and which uh, of necessity I know that you will definitely give okay, back to me, he says. So Prospero says here to uh, Antonio, right? Uh, your, even if I pull your name, even if I call Antonio, right, this is going to pollute my mouth, right, yet, uh, though your uh, faults are the worst of all, but I am ready to forgive you, not only you, the um, the rest of, okay, you, all of them, right, and I request to give you my dictum, and which of necessity, you will definitely give this uh, country back to me, he said, right, and then, King Alonso said, if thou be Prospero, that means if you are indeed Prospero, real Prospero, give me us particulars, give us circumstances, give us the descriptions of thy preservation, of your survival. How did you survive here? How did you uh, live your life here? How did you reach here? Because we had already uh, um, um, uh, inspired you to be killed on the way, but how did you reach here? Give us the descriptions. How thou hast met us here, and how did we meet here? Whom three hours since were wrecked upon this earth? Who we are uh, since three hours wrecked in the sea, right? So after uh, uh, the wreckage of the ship in the sea, it's been three hours meeting uh, um, Prospero now, right? Where I have lost. How sharp the point of this remembrance is, my dear son, Ferdinand. And he says, where I have already lost, right? So I am dead. I'm just human here. I'm just body here. Actually, three hours before, I'm okay, already killed because I've lost my favorite uh, uh, or a precious thing of mine that is my son Ferdinand. Right? Here, uh, King Alonso said to Prospero to give him the proof, to give him the descriptions of how he was um, survived. Then Prospero says, I'm woe for it, sir. So he says, I'm sorry about your loss, sir. Right? So he did not tell that uh, his son is here with him, right? but he showed the sorrowful feelings on having lost uh, um, the king's son Ferdinand. So he says, hear that, I go for it. That means I am sorry to hear this. I am sorry, sorry to hear the loss of yours in your life. Then Alan says, irreparable is the loss. And patient says, it is past a cure. And he says, my loss is irreparable. It cannot be repaired at all. My loss is such that it cannot be repaired because how come I'll get my son back who is lost, right, who is dead? And patience says it is past her cure. That means, and even patience cannot bring me uh, my comfort, right? I've lost, I've lost such a dear thing in my life which patience cannot even bring me my comfort. Here he said, right? This no. And then Prosperous says, I rather think you have not sought for help and then Prosperous says, I rather think that you have not taken the best help Right? You have not used your power to take the best help. Right? Of whose soft grace for the like loss I have here sovereign aid and rest my myself content. And similar to you, your loss is, so is mine too. I have also lost the most dear uh, thing in my life. Yet Prosper also said. Then Alonso says, you the like loss. Right? And being surprised, King Alonso says, 
you also lost in a similar way right i don't understand this that means what loss did you have like mine here you want to question then prosper says as great to me as death that means recently my loss is also similar like yours of late means recently i lost uh, my dear thing my precious thing recently right and supportable to make the dear loss and supportable to grieve on this dear loss means grieve my sorrowful loss this is not just a loss it is a whole full of my losses right have i means as much weaker than you may call to comfort you for i have lost my daughter because just like your loss if you really call it a loss of losing your son i have also lost my daughter he said prosper said right then all this is our daughter being surprised right oh heavens that they were living both in naples and then he says oh god i wish both of them were living in naples right now both of them refers to his son ferdinand and prosper's daughter miranda they both were living in naples now the king and queen there as queen king and queen there sort of uh, um, here uh, king alonso uh, uh, wished that both of them were alive and uh, today i would uh, uh, wish them that uh, they would have been the king and the queen of naples right that they were i wish myself were modded in that oz bed where my son lies right so that they would i wish now i myself lie dead where where my son is lying dead i wish my death would take place lying in the same place where my son uh, um, is lying there right when did you lose your daughter then he asks when did you lose your daughter right king also asks prosper then then <coughs> what did prosper say see prosper says in this last tempest so i lost my daughter in this last storm right i perceive these lords i observe these lords perceive means observe these lords at this encounter do so much admire that they devour the regions right and then he looked at the lords lord francisco lord uh, adrian then uh, sebastian uh, and antonio see i observe these lords at this encounter at this meeting what we are meeting now do so much admire that means Uh, they are so much amazed. They are so much surprised that they devoured their regions, that they have swallowed their regions. Whatever regions are there, they are now completely forgotten where they are. Right? And scarce thing, their eyes do obvious of it, and they are hardly believing to what they are seeing. Their eyes are hardly be, uh, believing what they are seeing. Right? Because we see these lords are all uh, like buffaloes with the big eyes, uh, open to see uh, prosper there and uh, narrating. Uh, what losses he has no their words are natural bed but they are speaking normally though they are completely amazed but that uh, normal right now right that means story the magic is now fading away from this group but whose howsoever you have been jostled from your senses no for certain but i am i am sure whatever your uh, feelings are whatever your certainties are but i assure you right that i am prosperous prosperous says i am real prosperous right and that very duke uh, which thou thrust for the milan and i am the very duke which uh, who was uh, thrown out of milan who was thrust for means driven out of milan right who most strangely upon this sword and who by surprising the landed in this sword in this island where you were wrecked where you are wrecked now where your ship got wrecked right to be the lord on it and i have become the king of this island today right he said no more yet of this now let me to- tell no more of this for it is a chronicle of day by day because it's a long story to be told uh, in installments i cannot uh, uh, complete it right now the beginning and i cannot give it at one one uh, okay shot he said no not a relation for a breakfast so it is not a story to be completed at having breakfast at the breakfast table right so it's not a short story to tell and end it is a long story right i have to tell this in installments part by part nor befitting this first meeting and it is not fitting to uh, end up telling the story of okay my uh, beginning and end at this first meeting welcome sir and then he okay welcome or this cell is my court and he showed his cave where he lives this is the cell where i live here have i few attendants and here in this cave where i do live have few workers for me attendants for me and subjects none are brought and i don't have subject outside right right it is a, a pinch to king alonso and uh, antonio because what they have done uh, they have uh, secretly extended their hand uh, to outside country and got the help to drive me out right but i have not, 
I have not tried this one. Whoever attendants are mine, they are uh, all loyal to me. He says, no, pray you look in. So I request you to look inside. What is that inside my cave? My dukedom, since you have given me again. So you have already given me my uh, dukedom back. Right? Country Milan is given to me back. I will requit you with as good a thing. I will repay you. Requit means repay. Right? As you have given me the uh, kingdom back to me. Right? Country Milan. I will also repay you with the good thing uh, that you are awaited. At least bring forth the wonder to contain ye as much as you might dukedom. Right? Just like the dukedom has uh, uh, been given to me and it has uh, it has pleased me the most. Likewise, you will also see inside the cave that will most probably please you the most. Right? Yep. Prospero told King Alonso. Here Prospero discovers Ferdinand and Miranda playing at chess. And he draws the curtain. Right? Or opens the cave door and uh, lets... Uh, uh, them see uh, Prince Ferdinand and Miranda playing at chess. So inside the cave, Prince Ferdinand and uh, uh, Miranda, they are seated and then they are playing the chess, the game of chess, right? And this is showed. Now what happens? How will uh, King Alonso and the rest react on seeing uh, the thought, supposed dead son Prince Ferdinand. This is what we are going to continue in our next class. Thank you very much.